Do you have a computer question? Ask John. Today, I'm going to teach you to install Windows. It's not as hard as it sounds. Listen, first you will need to set up your BIOS to boot off a CD if your BIOS is not already set up to boot off of a CD. And I will continue from there in a second. After you've uh, set your BIOS up to boot off of a CD, it'll say something like press any key to boot from CD. Push spacebar, for example. And then M then the DOS portion, it kind of looks like reminds you old DOS. A little thing on the bottom, just let it continue and finish. And then you'll get to something that says welcome setup. Then you'll get to something that says like read the license agreement. You have to agree it won't let you install, so push FA to agree usually. And that's about it. And then choose an installation partition. It'll want you to choose the partition you have. Um, or you're going to overwrite, or if you have extra room on your hard drive that it was never made into partition, you can use that. But if the, your partition's corrupt, I recommend deleting your partition and then selecting the new file system as NTFS and do the just do the normal one, not the quick one. And then um, format your hard drive. I recommend it. Um, then you want to get to the next part where it counts to like 100 because it's copying files and stuff of the CD. Then after that, your computer reboots. You get into a nice looking setup, it's Windows or something like that. Um, you then click. You choose your region settings, like your language you want to use, etc. And then you hit click next to continue. And then you personalize your software, like uh, the name you want to use to register, etc. Put that in there and then put your organization. Then hit next and then enter your product key. That's like a 25 character key. Um, it comes with Windows, it's usually on a sticker or something. Um, then hit next and then you just enter your your uh, administrator password and your computer name hit next again and when you get to the next part ask you your computer name just put in a computer name that you want that will allow you to use and click next then you'll get to some ask today's date put today's date it's called the uh, supplier date and time i believe or windows xp professional setup is what it says and uh... date and time settings and put today's date the time it is currently and the time zone you're in and then click next the network setup I always set this up later because I like to look through it a little bit and then choose network settings I, I don't do that part I always skip that for later but if it does make you choose something choose typical settings um, set up the uh, if you have pro just set up what you want the work group to be called make sure it's the same as the others or if you don't have pro just continue with wait till you get to something that says setup completion then then it'll reboot your computer after going to a windows thing with a loader and uh... change the display like a uh, boot image i guess is what you call it change the display settings so that they work and just hit ok to accept and you'll get something that says like welcome to microsoft windows click next to continue that's all you have to do just click next and network setup it'll tell you how to I always wait for this later or I, th I believe the question is not at this time and then you can activate Windows right there. You can wait till later. I always wait till later because I like to install my net my network card properly. And uh, I set up the you set up the users you want to use, and then you just log in first time. Log in. Set passwords up on your accounts so no one can get into them remotely, etc. Um, then you want to run live update as soon as possible. So run it like right when you turn it on then make sure all your devices are working and stuff if they're not you might need to use the, the CD that came with the device and then you need to set up your users and defrag and just customize your computer a little bit might want to defrag, defrag again and then just ins install your software and get your automatic updates and then defrag shut down and turn it back on but now for some, some tips, tips and, and tricks. Mark Tadamir writes, how do I open command prompt using run in Windows? Go to the start menu, click run, and type CMD, then hit enter. Remember, submit your stuff in the next video. I might choose your question for the next video. As always, goodbye, and if you want your question sent in, I'll tell you where at the end of this video. Bye!
www.technologyforever.com slash contact dot html